This video will show you the new method how to reset a lost password for your FortiGate firewall without yapping the Swedish way. Have you tried turning it off and on again? This is the old method, so before 40OS 7.2.4 you could use a user called maintainer and a password which was bcpb, some kind of backdoor bypass and then you use the serial number in cap, so for example uh, FTG417833 and you could log in with that account and reset the admin account but after 7.2.4 this is not working anymore so you need another method and that I'm going to show you today. One crucial step for the new method is that you will need a backup file of your FortiGate firewall. So if you don't have a backup file, I highly recommend that you get a backup before you're locked out. So I will show you how to get a backup file from your FortiGate firewall. But uh, if you're already locked out and there is, is no backup file, uh, yeah, it's uh, tough luck, but make sure to backup your firewall. Here is my current firewall config. I have some LAG configured. I have changed the theme and I have uh, yeah, Estevan zone. So uh, this will be the one that I'm going to uh, restore. And we can easily see that this is not a standard config because, yeah, for example, the theme. But we will go to this backup system configuration and we can leave it as default local PC so we will get the conf file when we press OK here. There it is so we have the backup file so make sure to do this before you are locked out. Now we will factory reset the firewall and to do that, we need to unplug the power. So I will unplug the power. I think this model is uh, 40 gate 40 E or G or something, but it's quite similar to other models. So now I will plug in the power again while holding the reset button. And it's gonna take a while for it to factory reset so I'm gonna keep holding this for quite some time now and I'm not going to release it until we see the status led which is the middle one of the three we can see to the left here I will speed this up because this takes a minute or two but um, soon we can see the status led flashing and then I will release the pin. So now it's flashing, I'm releasing the pin and we will open up the config file in Notepad++ I can recommend because then we can also set some YAML language. So we will open up this config file, I will press language YAML, I will search for config admin config system admin so we will press ctrl f type config system admin search for it and here we can see the admin account and i'm going to minimize this config gui dashboard because it's uh, yeah several hundred lines and what we need to do is to find this set password and it's an encrypted hashed password here on row 573 in this case. So I will highlight this row and completely delete it. And this is everything that needs to be done with this file. We hit save. And when we load in this file, 
the system is gonna recognize so that we uh, can set a new password. The firewall is rebooting. I'm doing a ping check towards it to see when it comes online. I will speed this up a bit. Okay, so the firewall has now been factory reset. So let's once again head to the web GUI. And you only need a standard ethernet cable to one of the ports to your firewall and you will get the DSCP from the firewall. So that will be no problem. Here we can see the theme is back to standard. So we will use the default login, which is admin. And we will not put the password because there is no password yet. We will make a new password. This is still the completely factory reset firewall. So we will make a new password. There isn't an old password. Retype it. Hit OK. Now again put in admin and the password that you just uh, assigned. Hit login. And here we can see, okay, this is the initial setup for the firewall. So it indeed is a factory reset firewall. Doesn't matter too much because we are obviously going to restore the uh, config file. Indeed, it's factory reset. We can see here under interfaces, my LG is gone, my Stevan is gone. So uh, we are going to head to the admin configuration and this time we are going to press restore file we will press plus upload we will select the conf file that we just edited and we are going to press ok to load it it will warn us that it will reboot and asks us if you are sure to continue we will press ok so now we are loading the old conf without the password row. So it's going to let us choose a new password. Okay, we have once again went to the web GUI. Admin was the last username. But remember, there is no password now. We removed it from the conf file. So we're going to press login. And we're actually going to get this set up to change the password. And here we can set a new password. So this is great news. We will set a new password for our old config. So we put in the password. Once again, press OK. And now we have to log in again after changing a password. That's standard procedure. So we log in. And voila! Our old theme. We are on 7.2.8. Let's check the network. Interfaces. There is my LG. My old conf. My Estevan zones. And we are back in business hope this one helped you out like and subscribe for more videos like this see you guys bye bye